The following is an excerpt from Disc 3, Story 4 of In the Room with Milton H. Erickson, M.D. To purchase the DVDs, please go to MiltonEricksonDVDs.com. Thank you. Now another African Bauer thing, episode, not African Bauer's were involved. A rancher, he was newly married, his bride developed severe arthritis. He was sort of a wedding person. And he took her around various doctors for treatment. And of course, the future in arthritis is not good. And he had generalized arthritis. And she wanted to become pregnant. The obstetrician measured her and told her she would have a baby, but that if she got pregnant, her arthritis might come worse. The baby might be born dead, she might not be able to deliver it. The orthopedist who was treating her agreed with the obstetrician. And the woman became more and more depressed at home. And the rancher began putting knives and anything he could commit suicide out of reach. And the wife was more and more depressed, took her to psychiatrist. It was just an electric shock, insulin shock. And we asked him about the results of the arthritis. My comments were not favorable. And the choice between straightening his wife's mind out and damaging her body, he didn't want either. He finally brought her to me. I listened to her mournful story. I told her, well, apparently, getting pregnant is the most important thing there is in your life. It may make your arthritis worse. You have stressions right, you may not be able to live with the baby. In that case, a caesarean can be done, but go ahead and get pregnant. So she took my advice very gladly, got pregnant, her eyesight improved. He delivered a baby girl named Cynthia. And she was so very, very happy with that baby. He was the nicest baby in the whole world. Uh, unfortunately, at the age of six months, Cynthia died a crib death, of which there's no explanation. And she became more depressed and suicidal. I thought it got worse. He took her around with various psychiatrists, other pieces. And they all counsel against any further pregnancies. Her arthritis had become so severe, and finally he brought her to me. And I told her, now listen, well, I think you're being very stupid. I wanted her attention. I think you're being very stupid. For nine long months, you carried Cynthia, and you enjoyed every second of those nine long months. And you delivered Cynthia, and you enjoyed that fact very much. You're very proud of it. 
and you enjoyed Cynthia as a living baby for six long months. And now you tell me you want to wipe out over 15 months of happiness? I think that's a stupid thing to do. Fifteen months of glorious happiness should not be thrown away. It should be treasured. And I'm going to tell you a way of treasuring it. Plant a eucalyptus sapling and grow very rapidly in Arizona. And you name that eucalyptus sapling Cynthia. You look forward to the day when you can sit and crochet and knit in the presence of Cynthia, in the shade of Cynthia. I went out a year later. I see her. Since he was growing very rapidly, her arthritis had greatly improved. And he took me around, showing me her flower beds. Her flower beds were larger than this whole building. And her arthritis had very much improved. And she had devoted her life and growing flowers, lots of different kinds, in different seasons. I went home with an armful of sweet peas. And she had, still had her memories. Fifteen long ones of very happy memories. Why do any more therapy with her? He had a purpose in life. He was growing more flowers than she could use. I got an iron book. I didn't go to how she disposed of other flowers. She was a very generously natured woman. I think she supplied a lot of people with flowers. And when you get your patient involved in doing something and they discover that you're not afraid of uh, insulting them and telling them the simple truth, I thought it was stupid to throw away those memories of Cynthia. You should belong them. I think short-term therapy can be extremely useful. But you have to make that short-term therapy useful to the personality. 